Well, just making a video of this uh, 7 horse Tecumseh engine here, which um, in my estimation is uh, the worst engine I have uh, ever tried to get the carburetor off of up to this point in time. Um, the engine itself is pretty good. This one's about a 1970 7 horse Tecumseh. Um, it's off my uh, original engine off my snowblower, but um, decided to replace it with a 5 horse Briggs when I discovered the head gasket was dying on it. And uh, now I decided I'm going to try to take the carburetor off it. As you can see, I've got the bowl off there. That come off all right. But uh, trying to get these bolts, see, I got one highlighted right in here. You have uh, two nuts, nut there, which I got off. I can't get the one off on this side, uh, this nut right here, because if you uh, look around here, the the nut comes through uh, this into this uh, other housing here and then on the back of it there's a Phillips head a countersunk uh, screw I guess you'd call it and then um, so that holds the carburetor here to uh, this intermediate piece which then bolts to the engine with uh, two more uh, Phillips head screws now I can't uh, get those screws out. Uh, the one, number one, they're way too tight. But I have a um, impact driver here. As you can see, you, you can't you can't get the impact driver in. Uh, same thing on this one. There's a metal plate in the way. You just can't get it in. And same thing goes for trying to take the exhaust off. You you don't have the reach on the the one uh, exhaust screw. Everything's uh, Phillips head so uh, in my experience that you need an impact driver and this thing's designed so that even an impact driver won't work so uh, I uh, I fully intend to get this carburetor off here although I don't uh, know how I'm gonna do it at the moment so uh, like I say this is like the worst designed carburetor attachment I've ever seen um, the engine itself ran well uh, I'm sure that new Tecumseys are different. I believe the carburetor is uh, on the opposite side, perhaps where the exhaust is on this one. Uh, I've seen some like that at least. But I can certainly understand why they got rid of this uh, setup. Uh, it'd be fine if the uh, the bolt in this, uh, the countersunk bolt in there wouldn't start to spin when you uh, try to take the nut off. That's what's causing the whole problem. So, anyway, I'll be... Uh, Sticking with Briggs and Strattons, that's for sure. So we'll uh, catch you later then.